Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. The city of Shendi asked us to go up into a, a valley to the north because one of their major uh, holdings there has fallen under pressure by some pirates that have pushed into the area. These are mech warriors that follow the leader Red Reaper. To preserve good relations with Shendi, we've decided to go forward and help defend this installation and we're hopefully going to be able to clear out yep. the enemies here. Now we've already been engaged. All right, so we're going to start moving forward and opening up on these guys. They've already taken a couple pot shots at us. We've got an Apollo over here, uh, a Plainsman. There's a Warhammer here somewhere too. Uh, he took a couple PPC shots, just missed us. So we're going to move up. Now, the, some of the mechs, uh, as we move forward, I, I'm going to let you know what we've done to them. So this uh, trebuchet Copy stayed that. the same. It's still our overheater trebuchet with a pirate, pirate AC-5. There's the Warhammer up there. So this is a four skull uh, assassinate mission and I'm assuming that this guy is probably the guy we have to assassinate but we'll find out here in a second. So we're going to attempt to overheat this guy. Switch to incendiary and fire on him. Yeah, that's the guy. Uh, so yeah, um, so basically yeah. I've run a mission just before this that I started to record and then for some reason I shut the recording off just before the battle started. And I think I know what happened. I started it just before we dropped. And then, um, and then I thought I hadn't started it and, and I stopped it by accident anyway. I recorded a whole episode just before this, which was a, was a three and a half skull assassinate mission. This is a four. The, opposition wasn't very difficult we managed to knock them out real quick so um, but anyway this one looks like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult now the bushwhacker I swapped out the two medium lasers and the CT for ER medium lasers so that's the one just the one change here you'll be able to see just because we weren't getting quite the range um, with everything else we had to get close with the bushwhacker now we can shoot from a little bit more distance which is good uh, retriever has um, given up his fire starter mech. We've moved the fire starter down to Skull uh, and made some changes to it because he is currently running the Hellbringer. Now this thing in the last mission ran super, super hot. Um, Double time. Let's go. So we're going to have to just deal with that. I, I knew up putting together it was going to be hot, but we'll deal with it. We'll get some more gear for this thing and then we'll get hopefully things back under control. All right, let's fire everything. All right, nice shot. Commander. So the fire starter is the big change. So this is basically taking over for the Wolfhound with the exception that it doesn't have an AMS. Now, I swapped out the uh, large pulse laser. Six tons for three times 17 damage. Wasn't really that great. So we put the medium X pulse in, which is, you know, two tons for 45 damage. It's got a lot, like it's a lot shorter range, but the accuracy is just the same. Uh, so that's been done. Um, also, we've got two medium clan pulse lasers in here. I downgraded the rocket 15 down to a rocket 10, but I did manage to get a couple more tandem rocket packs in here. So we've got, we're basically a tandem rocket 100 right now. Uh, and the reason why I did that is that if yep. we're moving up in, in um, weight class, we've been having some difficulties trying to take down some vehicles. So at least with it laid out this way, um, Hopefully with the tandem rocket 100, if we encounter any really heavy vehicles, which we actually did in the last match, which I, of course, failed to record, um, we, we encountered a 75 ton Brutus. Uh, this, the tandem tandem 100 shot basically killed that mech in, in one pass. Because half the damage gets trans, transferred internally, right? So, and those, um, and uh, ground vehicles notoriously have uh, very, very poor um, internal structure. Special delivery. Oh, that was a big miss. Um, so hopefully we can be able to kill those guys really, really quickly. What's up, boss? That's the goal. All right, move up here. On the move. Full speed. Got no eyes on. I have to remember what I was talking I'm about in the last on. episode because some things have changed. Oh yeah, so we finally were able to get some things going on with the trebuchet. Uh, I put a Clan XL engine in this thing, going to full uh, which allowed me to put in a, a we, we actually had a double heatsink kit which I put in 
and a double heat sink, but it allowed me to swap out the regular laser, uh, the intact laser that we had, uh, medium, for an ER large, which will give us some long range firepower when we're first moving up. Uh, that one medium laser wasn't really doing a whole lot, and we're able to sink most of the heat now too, so that's good. Now, the, also too, the ammo loadout has changed on that trebuchet, so we're running, we, we took out the double MRM load and put in a regular MRM load, so we've got the one ton of improved, one ton of regular, and also put in a ton of um, Inferno, because we seem to be running Infernos quite a fair bit now, uh, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be really good to support that, that trebuchet. Uh, we need to get you up fast. Double time. Let's go. The uh, overheating trebuchet. Because that, uh, in the last battle, it actually hit for 91 damage on one shot. So, um, it's, it's way, gone way beyond what I've, uh, what I thought it would do. So we're going to be looking at doing overheating, which I've also had a look at the Bushwhackers loadout. I took out some of the SRM ammo. We had two tons of SRM ammo. I took the regular tons out, put up one ton of acid and one ton of incendiary ammo in. So it looks like this guy's only got one. Got an Apollo. I've got an Orion. And a Plainsman with this guy. Okay. OB. Is this the Omni version? Is it an Omni version? Usually when I see O now I think Omni. What do you need? I used to think it was old, but it actually I think it actually means Omni. Alright, let's get some overheating on this guy. Let's do it. Got it. We're no protected from these guys by this by these rocks, so we might as well use it and use the direct fire on this guy. We've got bad chances to hit, but I don't care. Nice. It's only nine damage on that first heat, but once he gets into the into the red line. Which I don't know if he will, because I think if it's an Omni mech, he's probably got good heat sinking. Once he gets into the red line... What are you shooting? That went off like mortars. Okay. Interesting. Yep. Once he gets into the red line, it's going to be open season on him. Now I can get to here and not expose. Let's not. Ex I want to try to not expose. I think until we can take this guy, at least have this guy under control. Yeah, his heat's still pretty good. I think. Attacking from the distance. Okay, a little bit more heat on him. Ready for order. Ultra five is down already. Uh, we're going to engage the vehicle. Move order received. I think we're going to turn and engage this vehicle. Now this mech does run pretty hot. Uh, I did add a couple things to this guy as well. Um, I was able to get the exchanger that we had in the Wolfhound in here. So it reduced the amount of heat we were we were putting out um, with, with all the weapons firing. And I was able to get the Wolfhound's targeting computer in here for up to 540 meters. I think it's a 540 to Mark 1. So I think everything within 540 meters pretty much gets a, a plus one to hit and it ignores vision uh, problems. So, because um, the last battle that we we fought, my chances to hit were like half of what everybody else's was. So hopefully this mech will be improved with that targeting computer in it. All right. Not worried, it's a 65 tonner. Uh, we've also got the rifleman um, aye, aye. almost back. I've got, I set it up to get repaired. Uh, let's get you into here. Affirmative. Um, so it went in. It's got an X, Clan XL engine in it. Um, you know, some pretty sweet stuff. I'm going to switch this to incendiary. And we'll use the large as well. We'll fire him. So he's got a large improved heavy laser. Medium X pulse. It's probably the same on both arms. It's actually not a bad loadout. Well, the good thing about the inaccuracy is it's going to set the ground on fire all, all over the place over there, so he will be running through fire the whole time. Oh yeah, so the Rifleman. So, it's not a, a very good loadout, I'll warn you. I, I, what I would like to do with that is to get a pair of pirate AC-5s on there. 
But we've only got one right now, and it's in the trebuchet. Once we get a second one, I'll probably switch them both into the rifleman. But right now, it's only got a pair of AC-5s and a pair of large lasers, and that's it. Uh, the armor's been maxed out. Um, so I'm not worried about it going down. Uh, it's got a double heat sink. No, does it or not? I don't think it does have a double heat sink kit in it. I think it's just running regular heat sinks right now. Because at the time, I don't think I had one to put in there. Oh, yeah, somebody's been shooting a lot of stuff. That's that's a lot of stuff. Let's see Apollo. Alright, so we've got a few guys we need to start worrying about here. Yeah. Minefield 54. It's only 26 out to here though. It's gonna put us in the open. 32, 26 is the best. Let's get this out of the minefield. How much should we take? 14, so not too bad. So he's still got an MRM 20 and a rocket pack 20, so this guy is still a threat. We don't have any range on him, so we're gonna go ahead and target the ground. Put it right there. Perfect. He still be taking something if he if he stays there. Good to go. Okay, this is back you up. On it. Our learn bones don't need to be close. Let's try and get rid of this guy, I think. Confirm. Wow, that was nothing. I missed. Yeah, so the riflemen will be coming back sooner or later, and you can't move because. Fifty-eight, forty-one, thirty-six, sixty, fifty. Fuck it, we go for it. I copy. We got to get out of the minefield. Thirty, oh, twenty-three. So not so bad. Let's go after the Apollo. It's going to be a good fight, I think. Once we can get out and fan out a little bit, by. it won't be so bad. Let's get back here. Received. And I think we go after this guy. Alright, all a little bit. We're going to drop the Artie over there too. Well, no, I think we're going to drop the Artie on the um, Waiting on you, Commander. main guy up here. Get some chaff on him as well, hopefully. And I don't think we can use direct yet. Nah, it's too far away. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay, took a bit of damage, a little bit of chaff on him. It's nice. So yeah, the rifleman's not quite ready for the lineup yet. It's pretty darn close. Like I said, it's going to be back in about nine days or so, which isn't long. It took 43 days to get to where it, where it's at now. What are you using? Mortars or... What is that he's got? It's almost a waste. Like, what are you doing? Orders. You know, I, I talked about the last episode as well. Uh, I can mention it in this one. So, uh, I've been watching Beridil's new playthrough, and he was mentioning too that the uh, mechs are in inexplicably targeting his Hetzer, or a Hetzer. And I, I got a feeling it's got something to do with the AI. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Get a bit better chance to hit. Maybe we can claim this guy fast. If we get lucky, we might be able to punch through the side here. He's got a mind dispenser 15 he hasn't used yet. Nope. Alright, one hit. So yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I'm not sure what to think of that. Um, because uh, one of the uh, uh, money runs I did... This guy's not getting overheated at all. Let's keep it on him though. Well, you know, he's not getting overheated because he's not using his big lasers. Yes, Commander. That's why. Same thing, let's get Moving over here. Position. 
So yeah, um, I think the, the AI probably sees them using the incendiaries again. Copy that. Probably sees the Hetzer and thinks, "Oh, it's got an AC-20. I got to, I got to kill that, right? It's a big gun. I got to kill it." Not realizing that it could be like an LRM version or a different version of it that um, doesn't have that, you know? Oof. It's gonna put you in the open, man. You know what? Let's just um, let's just drop some missiles on this guy. Nice. Juiciness. So yeah, that's my guess, is that the AI is thinking that it's got an AC-20, so it must kill it, because it's probably got the biggest weapon on the board. And it's just making an incorrect decision, because even though it's really far Hi away, mm -hmm. uh, it's still, still trying to target it, and it's like, it's too far away to be a threat. Even if it had an AC-20, there's no, there is no threat, right? Let's just stay away from the Warhammer's targeting for now. Mm -hmm. Tandems are still really lousy chance to hit. All right, let's just fire the ER medium, I guess. Firing at him. He'll take the barrage this turn, so whatever. Well, that didn't work out. So whatever. I don't think I think we can cross this here and get into here, but I think this is too deep here, like right along here. Mostly missing. The benefit of, of dropping the wolf out now too is to is go. our uh, yeah. Let's go out to this guy. Our um, scout mech is now 45 tons rather than 35, so we got a little bit of extra armor we can play with, and that's an omni too, right? So if it does go down, replacing the internals is you know once again we'll have to head to. Just sees it as a threat, you know. I got two of them on the board, so they've been targeting them. I don't know. I'm almost want to take them out of play, but I don't know. Uh, also, too, watching Burdell's playthrough, he he mentioned, and I mentioned this in my last episode too, but we're not going to get a chance to see it here. Um, just because of the way the last episode played out, we were going down a road, and all of my main mechs attacked the, guy, the enemies directly, and here, we don't have that. These guys are just sitting here. But, uh, you know, you you can arguably uh, send your vehicles in ahead of your mechs to have the enemy target them, because you get your vehicles back without having to really pay for them What's at the end, boss? like after the mission's over. Get around here, get a little bit of evasion. Like one point of evasion or something. So you can do that if you want. Uh, but, you know, you got to remember there's a crew of people in there. Theoretically, right? There's a crew of people in there. And would you would you do that? Would you send them in to get killed just to shield your battle mechs, which are supposed to be tougher and have more armor and such, right? I hear you. And maybe, you know, there's are, there, are, there are situations that you, you probably want to go and try to do that. Because after all, it is just a video game, you know, whatever, right? Go ahead. Got it. But I'm trying not to do that, you know? Alright, a little bit of damage over there. Standing in some heat. Warming things up a little bit. He's going to reveal. But what is he doing? Going after the Hetzer again. Damage. Minimal. Like if you use direct fire on yep. my guys here, it would just be it would be chaos. Like he's got the ability. He's got two large improved heavy lasers that do 80 damage each. Right? It would just be chaos. And I'm sure I'd be freaking out at this point with a bunch of 80 80 damage hits. And that might not be 80 because I I don't think they're improved. I think they were the regulars, which means the damage would drop off. But still, it's going to be a lot of damage, right? Like, taking it, an AC-10 hit from the Orion is like, okay, but... As long as he's not hitting continuously, you know? Heavy fire. Yeah, I know. That's the one thing we're going to have to really need? focus on as we move up is... Uh, 
making sure our pilots are ready for it too, right? Having the ability to um, having I'll the ability to I be can. able, like you know, have good targeting and good uh, piloting and everything, right? So if they do get knocked down, they're going to get up. You know, if they um, if we have like a normally Fire. crappy chance to hit, we'll have a mediocre chance to hit. That kind of thing, right? Ooh, head hit. He's only got three health, eh? I'm listening. They get a sensor bonus I'm if I'm standing in the water. Let's get out of the water. Hopefully that'll give us a bit more ability to hide. Tandems are close enough. What about with the Orion? Yeah, he's a stock, so... I'm thinking we just shoot the lasers at this guy. Let's throw the rocket 10 on as well. I don't know why the tag's off. Oh yeah, because I targeted the ground, that's right. So we'll just go ahead and fire these. Here we go. Wow. Well, four points damage, huh? Nothing like having quality pilots. I thought about leaving the, um, leaving the fire starter with, re with Retriever because Retriever's got over 20 missions with it, so... Uh, but then I, I thought against it because, um, hang on a second here. Let's give those guys another target. Copy that. Um, because I want Skull to be our, yeah, look at this, two X-Pulses. LRM-20 Zeus. It's interesting. I wonder what, what, what ammo he's using. Confirmed. Well, there he goes. Not so tough, is he? Targeting the wrong guys, that's what happens. What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh yeah, um, I want Skull to be our main scout. And the Firestarter is going to be our scout mech. It's got the Beagle Probe and everything in it, so... Um, that's the only reason why I went that route. And Retriever, you know, I want him to be our... Uh, or a, uh, another fire support pilot. So I, the, the sooner I can get him into a mech that he can do that with, the better. Yeah, we got much better chance to hit now. Okay, if we can actually hit with good chances to hit? Come on. Really? You're killing me here, dude. I'm shocked it's only one support lance at four skulls. Gonna go back in and check my difficulty settings again. I can't remember. I think I've got it set to once. Was it one skull difficulty variance or something? Maybe I dial it down to a half or something to see if we can kill this thing. Time to die. Nope. That thing is like, wants to just hide. It's funny, I watch Bearville play and he's like, has the, all these low percentage chances to hit and he's like hitting them all the time and I'm like, how? This <laughs> I get high percentage chances to hit and I miss. I stand still and I miss. Yeah, we're gonna get you out of the way, buddy. I'm taking heavy hit. Yeah, I know. Just hang on there. Yep. Hang on, we're moving in a second. Fuck. All Mess him up. Mess him up good. Well, his mind oh, his dispenser is destroyed, but uh, Ready for orders. not that it mattered because he didn't. Uh... Ooh, really that low, eh? Doesn't have to worry about him because he's already used them up already. Um, somebody had a bad sensor roll. On the move. Let's move a tad bit closer. For still 0.9% <laughs> chance to hit. That's fine, whatever. Whatever. Damn it. Ready for orders. Okay, you took damage on this side down to one. So if I shield that side like that, we should be okay. Hopefully you can finish this guy up. There we go. Vehicles doing some good work. They can kind of hold their own. I mean, like if it was just vehicles against these mechs, they would get pummeled. But it's nice to have them as support, you know? Moving to position. 
Just that extra little bit of firepower makes all the difference. Now we want to go... I want Orion parts, so let's go after the Apollo. Alright, that's good damage. That's good damage. Yeah. Okay. Confirmed. On the Apollo as well. We managed to avoid that minefield pretty well. They laid it in a really, really good area. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the incendiaries. Okay, I'm on like it. it was in a very, very like prime spot. But um, we didn't need to move anywhere. We didn't have to go through it, so we kind of survived that. I mean, we are restricted to where we can go, but still, you know, using the rock as cover in this long-range game. Oh shit, you better get out of there. We don't need those right now. You're just a freaking target. Yep. Alright, let's start pushing. Bring this match to a close. Alright, uh, let's keep up with the incendiaries on this guy. Yeah, man, nice hits. It's unstable. Hopefully we can capitalize on that with the artillery and knock his ass to the ground. A little bit drunk there. Look at him. Wait, he goes in 16. When did we go? That was 18. Who else is going? Our other trebuchet. So is it... Whose turn is it? Is it this guy's? Could be. Yeah. But we need to get a mech we can get an AMS Mark II on. I'm thinking the rifleman probably once it comes back, like we I upped the engine from the 240 to a I think it was a 270 I dropped in there. To give it a little bit more speed. But if we can get an AMS Mark II in that thing, that would be really sweet. Because it can just kind of kind of walk along behind us as direct fire support and then, you know, use the AMS. Okay, a little bit of burn damage, not much. Standing by. All right, let's get around here. I'm really tempted just to shoot at that Orion, but because he's got that AC. But I want to make sure we uh, get the parts from him. So let's switch to improved. Much better chance to hit. Roger that. Laser hit. That's nice. Yeah. I'm really just tempted to like. Use all the tandems on this Orion just to see what happens. I mean, we've got... Don't we have, like, two Orion parts or more? Anyway, we're going to use all of these on this guy. I want to show you how much this thing overheats. So look at that. Like, just cranking them up automatically overheats everything. For one turn. But it's only for one turn, right? Then we're back down to, like, negative heat per turn. Actually, let's Warlord this so we get a better chance to hit. Still going to go against this guy. So, you know, it does crank it up a little bit with the Warlord, so that's kind of nice. Not quite enough. Oh, now I'm just it splashed it around on, both, like, on the front and the side, and I think, All and possibly... Short -range missiles. Oh, he had two left in the front. Yeah, it was a big splash. Damage minimal. When I killed that Brutus, I shot him from the side. And I think most of the Sweet missiles partners. hit the same location. I mean, they would have had to have, but... Yeah, they, they were pretty much the same location. Okay, that guy's gone now. One more for the trash heap. He had a mind dispenser. I'm shocked that he didn't use it. Uh, I promised you that we would move, didn't I? Get around here. You're good. You don't need to be in there anymore. You've done your job. Good fire support. I hear you. Okay, Apollo. It's all yours. You betcha. Okay, or hit the Orion. That works too. <laughs> Soften yeah. the Orion up. I don't even know why I give you suggestions for targets. You're just going to shoot at who you want anyway. What the hell? Roger. It's just like, yeah, I don't think I want to shoot that guy. I want to shoot the other guy. Target. <laughs> Target. 
Ice House is the guy that we picked up like right at the very, very beginning. He was running the Clint. I don't know if you guys remember that. He was like, yes, Commander. He's a pilot from this planet. He didn't come here with us. So he just kind of does what he wants anyway. It's like, ah, well, whatever. You do you, buddy. You can just stand back there. You're, I know you're an old mech warrior. Just stand back there and fire the artillery off. It's fine. Nice. Target's taking a critical hit. Good to go. Okay, let's keep Over pushing them. Uh, yeah, let's just shoot it. There goes the leg. Come on, bail out, buddy. You know you want to. Yep, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. All right, let's get on this guy. I want heat on him, people. Heat this guy up. We need parts. Inferno ammo, let's leave the lasers off. Aye, aye. He's gonna heat up real fast because he does not have a double heat sink kit. Yeah. Hey, sis, 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 sergeant. That's my poor attempt at French. It's sergeant, is what I said, but. Um, yes, go in Cindery. Thinking for the AC5, that is. Incendiary AC5 ammo. Ooh. Accurate firepower. Losing lots of armor. Waiting on you, Commander. Hey, think, buddy. Make him uh, unstable a little bit. Tell me what to shoot. Ah, uh, that hit. Where did that hit? Over here? Okay. I thought it was gonna hit dangerously close to the fire starter there for a second. Commander. Commander. We don't need to go there to cool off. Um Let's just go here. You're gonna be you're gonna be the guy that's gonna try and pull legs, I think. So let's just um Let's just go this right on him. We'll get a couple pot shots on him. Spread some damage out. I know I shouldn't be effing around with this guy, but uh, let's work on knocking his ass down if we can too. Um, I shouldn't be effing around with this guy, but honestly, I do want the parts from this guy. We passed up the Orion before. But I don't want to do it this time. Because we are going to be moving into heavier and heavier matches. Receiving you. He's trying to get you, buddy. Get over here. All right. What do you need? It's Sarge. Now, do he's overheating now? What's our chance to hit? Fifty-nine. Do we want to just keep heating him up, or do we want to go? Okay, look at the damage. 36, 38 for the AC-5 pirate. We get a pair of those on a rifleman and everybody else is running like LRMs and SRMs and MRM with incendiary ammo. It's going to be a field day for that rifleman. It's just going to be a field day. I mean, uh, obviously against bigger mechs like the Warhammer that was sinking the heat fairly well. It won't be such a, such a big deal. This guy's going to uh, probably shut down. He's going to fire and then shut down. Or we might even shut him down Commander. before that. Moving out. We might even get him down before that. He's pushing that red line pretty hot. Right, let's leave this off. We want to save it for after. Ah, shit. Well, I tried. Mission successful. All right, two hundred and twelve thousand, which is nothing. Like that's, we didn't take any damage really, which is pretty good. We got really, really lucky. 
Hephaestos. What? Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, screw you, I'm keeping that. I'm not letting you take it. Are you kidding me? We could get the Warhammer. And there is the Orion part too. And I think we have, or do we have Orion parts? Something's telling me large improved though. No accuracy penalty. Uh, let's just double check what else is down here. Medium X pulses. MRM 20 we don't need. We got two of those already still. Coolant flushes are nice. Cores, ex double the plus exchanger. Um, double heat sinks, double heat sink kit. Maybe the double heat sink kit we take. I think that's the I think that's what we do is we take the double heat sink kit. We do we still do have double heat sinks left over. We got four of them. But I think we need this for the I th I'm pretty sure I don't have a double heat sink kit in the rifleman. This would mean we'd be able to fire everything all the time. So let's go this route. I mean that's I think that's a no-brainer for this one. As much as I want to take that Orion part, um this Omni is so much better than that 75 tonner. All right, Apollo part, light rocket carrier or light carrier part. Um, we did get the Orion part. Nice. We'll be able to check on that. ER small laser optics. Uh, better range, but for 16 damage in the heat, no thank you. Telios, plus one accuracy, plus 10% chance to be shot down by the AMS. I'm going to just drop that because we've got clans, clan stuff. The Magna laser, medium pulse Magna. Let's hang on to that. MRM-20 we'll hold on to. Endo composite we will hold on to, I think. The 220 can probably go. Standard fire control systems can go. This heat sink can go. And standard cooling can go. All right, so not bad. All right, so let's have a look here. I'm wondering if that Bushrocker might be the next mech to go. It's been functioning well, but there's nothing that says we can't use the loadout that we've got on it in, like, let's say the... Well, maybe the other trebuchet should go then. Like, I don't know. Maybe the MRM trebuchet needs to go. Let's go to the mech bay. We've got a ton of mechs that we can put together now. This playthrough has been blessed with uh, plenty of mech parts. So we've got the Orion H and the Orion V8. So we do only have one Orion part. Okay, so now we've got two. So there is our Warhammer. We've also got the um, the crossbow. We've got enough to put a chameleon together. I, I picked up a spare part uh, in one of the side missions. I'm probably just going to uh, bring this thing up and I'll just ready it and we'll trash it. That you asked for. We've got enough fighting. for a Talos. And this has been sitting here forever. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to run this thing. So let's just ready this and we'll, we'll strip it and trash it. I'm going to try and get rid of a bunch of this stuff that out of storage here. I want to strip things down a bit. And when I say trash it, I don't... I mean trash it from the playthrough. I'm, make, I'm recording all of these mechs so that... Um, technically, we're making other units of mechs that we're going to have to defend our areas. So, um, now I won't be able to run them in the playthrough, obviously. Um, but, you know, they might show up here or there. Uh, on the map and stuff, so... Alright, now we did pick up a piece of a cicada a little while ago, so I'm gonna ready that guy. We'll get rid of that. that mech you wanted is back online. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Wolfhound, the Clint, and the Jenner, I think. Okay, Light Carrier can go. Let's just scrap that. And... You can hear me in the background here. I am going to go to... Where is it? So that's the third part of a Light Carrier that... We've scrapped, so that's a light carrier we've got now. Okay, let's just go to the base. Alright, so, Chameleon, what do we get out of this thing? Probably not a lot. Like, I'd love to spend the time just to rebuild these guys and see what we could do with them, but... For the limited time for the playthroughs that we've got, it's just better to strip these guys and... 
get rid of them. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of this guy. 111,000. That's not bad. And Talos. Let's have a look at this guy. So go ahead and mark that uh, chameleon down here. Ah, what a time for my pen to die. It's working flawlessly up until now. Okay, chameleon. Put the Talos down. Oh my god, it's still not working here. Okay, Talos. Why would you have to die, like, right at this moment? It's, like, right in the middle of stuff. All right, tell us. We got nothing. A whole lot of... That's what we got. Is this thing an Omni? I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. What do you know? That would have been nice to notice a long time ago. Oh, well. So much for that. Although, you know what? Uh, how fast is... Oh, it's only got a 200 core. Forget it. I was going to say if it's fast, we can use it as a scout mech, but it's not going to happen. So that's going to go too. We should get a half decent amount for this. Oh yeah, 442,000. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Definitely need that. And the cicada, I don't think we really got much left on here. I'm just going to quickly do a scroll through. Yeah, it's just a standard cicada, so it's gone. 93,000. All right. So here's the rifleman here. Actually, how much time we got left before it's back? Come on. Uh, Ten days. So let's just quickly go and do that. We'll be, we, we've will be we got our financial report for this month, so I'm not worried about it. I always have to worry about that because there's times when I'll be like, you know, playing missions for the actual um, playthrough, and then I have to do side missions to make the financial report because we're at a million already, right? So... Anyway, um, so let's go to the mech bay real quick. There may be tweaks we can do to the rifleman right now. Yeah, see, it's, it's I think it's still under tonned, is it not? I think that's what it is, it's under tonned. No? What's telling me something's broken here? Something is installed in an invalid location. Two AC5s, two AC5 ammo, Guardian ECM, two large lasers. What's in an invalid location? Oh, we don't have enough to... Why is this only 3.6 tons? Shouldn't it be 6? It was... You know what? When I put this together, this said 6 tons. And I was able to put this in. Now it doesn't. Why is that? What is giving it the... loss in tonnage all of a sudden? That's very strange. All right, so cooling uh, equipment. Let's go down here. We've already got the Clan XL in here, so we're kind of at our max capacity. Do we use the regular or the Clan one? We don't have any Clan double heat sinks, but we don't need them for this build because we can't fit them in anyway. So this should be, yeah, we're fine for heat. Why are we 66? Oh, because of the heat bank, which we don't need now. Right? We, st we don't need that now. So if we go here, it's at six tons now. How much did the heat bank weigh? Tonnage zero. And it goes to 3.6. Oh, requires 40% tons carrying. I didn't read that. That's me. That's my bad. That's why. Although it allowed me to put it in there, though. That's the weird thing. I was able to drop it in there. So we got the bolt-on 10 and rocket 20s. Just for those extra little punches that we might need. Um, just to help out a little bit. Uh, that's a 3-pack, too, so I can fire 3 of them. Now, internals. Do we have anything else we can drop in there? We could, Well, the UAV is 0.25 tons, so that would take us over. I don't think we have anything else we can drop in there from here. Oh, wait. Maybe... Oh, uh, it's 0.3 tons. Do we want to go with tandems? Could go with Thermal Vision Mark III. IFF Jammer we don't need because we got the Guardian ECM. 
and then we could go if you guys see anything that I'm missing here please please like yell out um, in comments and I don't the UAV is almost useless on this guy because he's so far back from the front I don't know if there's anything then maybe we just go with uh, do we have um, oh, we got a incendiary rocket pack incendiary rocket pack so two incendiary rocket packs we've got we might as well throw one of those on just for now until we find something else like a targeting proper targeting computer or something so anyway as I was saying but um, and we need to find a gyro for this thing too so we've got clan armor on here because it's got built-in case so it saved me a ton by putting this thing in um, and then that way uh, these things are protected by case uh, we've got the fire control system flak which is plus two evasion pips ignored minus one recoil with ranged weapons which will help with the ACs and then we've got plus one evasion ignore for the targeting computer so this is a, ignoring three three uh, pips of evasion so any fast mechs that try to get away from this guy they're gonna get shot up pretty quick uh, plus this will be great for going after aircraft at some point right now I've got regular a AC5 ammo in I don't think I've got f AC5 flak ammo I don't so what I want to do is I want to add flak ammo for this as well so if we do encounter flyers this guy is just going to target the flyers and take them out real fast. That's the goal. Um, but that's the thought behind this. And then if we get pirate AC-5s in here, then the um, infernal damage that they do will work really well against aircraft, but also against mechs. So then we switch around to a ton of AC-5 inferno and a ton of flak ammo. They'll work great against aircraft and for overheating mechs as well. And then once the mech is overheated, the pirate AC-5s will just shred them. Should just be able to shred the mechs. So once we get a gyro, we'll have some more room to put maybe more ammo in. Uh, we could switch these up for ER large lasers and try to get more heat sinking in here. That's a possibility. Or we can drop this and put in a, a, a really good exchanger in here. That would be another possibility. Um, if we can pull out the larges and put ER larges in. Now these are 600 meters. These AC5s are a lot like 720. The ER larges I think go up to 1,000. So that would be good for long range fire support and then these guys is when, it's, when things get a little closer. So this might work out. We'll see how it goes. I got tactic support in here too just because when you increase tactics you have I, I think it's like higher chance for initiative um, plus more visual range and better sensor skills. So I want this guy to have good sensors. Uh, which is why I add the sniper sensors on here as well. So 15% increased sight range and things like that. Uh, bonus 2 to sensor detection to help us find enemies faster. Um, just because if he's standing at a long range, we want him to be able to see people rel relatively easy and get good, 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 really good chances to hit. All I need to do is find a better cockpit. And I don't think I picked up any cockpits. That's the one thing we're missing from this playthrough is cockpits. Yeah, like we don't have any... I don't have any cockpits, unfortunately. Maybe we got the spiked helmet, but that's not going to work for this thing, right? We have the fire control system predator. I wonder if that's going to be better than the evasion ignore. Improved call shot by ten percent. This guy came off of the um, off of the wolfhound. This is why the wolfhound always had great chances to hit. Uh, I wonder if we should put that on here. I'm thinking that's probably going to be better than the flak. Because then if, once we're dealing with heavier mechs, they're not going to have any evasion anyway. They might have one or two points of evasion, but we're taking one off with this already. And then we can add bonus chances to hit with this. So I think we go this route instead. I think that's not a bad layout. If you guys can see anything I'm missing, please let me know. But I think that's pretty good for now. I mean, we'll have to figure it out as we go along, but we'll validate that. I wanted to get a rifleman into play for, for quite a while. I pulled out the two medium lasers on it because I don't intend this guy to get close. The large lasers can fire at close range anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I don't think... The Hellbringer, I still want to tweak. We still need to get more LBX ammo. I want to get some cluster ammo for better chances to hit. But it's not bad right now. I mean, it, it is pretty hot. We do have a regular exchanger in there. Once we get a better one, uh, that'll be nice too. But I want to try and get advanced optics on all of my guys. 
eventually, uh, just for the bonus, like the range bonus. This is 540 meters, which really is like, kind of like the like the extreme range of this stuff, like 540 for those lasers, 720 for this, and this is a little farther, I think, 780, yeah. So in close, this guy's going to be d doing fairly well. This also came off of the um, off of the Wolfhound 2, which which is another reason why it had such a great chance to hit, you know. So I put the uh, rangefinder gunnery on this guy too, just so he's got a better base sight distance, um, because I want him to be able to see to be able to hit with these things. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's it. I think I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about this episode. Next episode, the uh, night guns will be engaging. Um, got a little bit of a plan for those guys as well. So yeah, I don't know. It's either going to be this, like this trebuchet might. You know what? This one will probably stay and this one will probably go. Because this has got three missile points plus the ballistic. Whereas this guy's just got laser and like two missile, three laser. Oh, it does have one ballistic. Really? Trebuchets always have one ballistic? Am I missing something? Where's the ballistic? In the arm. No. Here, in the torso. Which is the same as the other guy. Yeah, he's got the Mark II zoom. Where are you here? So you have got two missiles in the arm, right? Yeah. Removes one of the laser from the arm and moves it over to here. So it's the same number of hard points with the exception of one more missile. So this guy could be our... Yeah, he's got the advanced optics, which is why he's hitting so well. This is the, the level 2. It goes out to 810 meters, which ignores uh, no visual and provides plus 1 range, range accuracy. And that's what I want with this guy. If you're going to use an overheater mech, especially with pirate ACs, this is what you want. And once we get the... Uh, once, we, once these pirate ACs go to the rifleman, so will this. Which means he'll be hitting a fair bit. Um, but yeah... I think I gotta leave this episode here, guys. That's gonna be that. We do need to get a dedicated AMS mech. Rifleman, I don't think, is gonna be the mech for that. It may have to be the Hellbringer. I don't know. Hellbringer seems like a, I don't know, it's kind of a wonky build with this uh, LBX-10 on the, on the uh, arm. Ultra 5's not bad, but I don't know. Maybe it needs to be a rack build. Maybe we need to get a rack for this thing. Put a rack in an arm and then it, and then the, uh, the, um, AMS Mark II or something like that. Because then this guy can help cover the front line units. Because right now this guy's going to be the meat shield. Although, you know what? I, I did want to look at the Holopolis here. This guy's got max armor. But, like, as of yet, he hasn't really taken any damage at all. Because he's just always standing at the back shooting. So maybe it might be better... He's got a bolt on AMS too, which he's never used. What do we do? We could strip a bunch of armor off this guy. That's a lot of heat sinks on this thing. How much heat does this thing generate? 30 heat. So if we go... Bear with me. I'm going to go with this again because I, I, I want to do this here. Heavy industrial armor. Gives us 22 tons. Here. Why do we put this in here? Is it just because we had... Primitive armor, that's why, to increase our armor. That was what it was. So chances are if he's going to be shot at... It'll be by long range lasers, most likely, I think. What would it take to do? We got. I'm gonna hang on to the Klein XL. Bear with me. I want to play with this guy for a second. This is the last thing I'm gonna do in this episode. So, you know, if you guys want to bail, feel free. But I want to play with this Holopolis a bit. I think I can make this thing into a better version of what it is. Because we haven't touched this thing since we first put it together, and I haven't really thought of it. But in the back of my mind, I've always been thinking, this is a 75-ton mech that's sitting at the back, really just lobbing a big round every turn and not doing much. You know what I mean? It really isn't doing a lot. Um, so let's go down to cores for a second. 
I want to bring this in right away, but I don't really want to put a double heatsink in here. So what I want to do then is increase the core slightly. Let's put a 275 in, right? Still leaves us some almost 10 tons. Uh, that's going to make our make us super heat efficient. Then what I want to do, I think, is pull out the ATM. Now the ATM was meant if someone got close, but no one's ever getting close. We're not using the ammo at all. So we've got, what do we got here? Regular LRM and chaff. Now, weapon systems. What do we have for LRMs here? It's one missile. Could we have a big 20? We have a regular LRM 20. We don't have a clan 20, unfortunately. It would have been nice to have a clan 20. This is 10 tons, right? So that can that's doable. And we add four tons of armor. Or armor of ammo. Right? What do we got for ammo for this thing? We do have LRM incendiary. We have Hydra, which doesn't have a lot of range on it. Ballistic accuracy we want to keep, which means it rules out using Artemis. We've got Swarm. We've got Thunder, which we're not really using in this playthrough. Mag Pulse. Do we have Mine Clearing Ammo? That would be a super good use for this. We don't. That is one thing I need to keep my eye open for. Sam Ammo, no, because I want to be using this as direct fire on our targets. The same target we're using the Sniper on. So, dead fire, or sorry, so, um, Sam ammo is only great if we're targeting VTOLs, which, wait, we can do with this, can't we, as flak. So a ton of, a ton of that. So mag pulse gives us, reduces cooling efficiency. So that's a possibility as well. Right? Uh, we need to drop some armor a bit here. Drop a tiny bit off the back. Because back armor not needed. Uh, do we have... It's going to cost us, man. Look at, the, look at the cost in this already. Just to put the light engine in. Like, I can't do it right now, but this is for the future, right? Can I do it right now? It's already at 1.7. I'd have to sell a whole bunch of stuff. You know what? Let me think about it. I might do it off camera and show you guys what I get when I come back. Because I'm going to have to sell a whole bunch of stuff. Which means parts out of the... Uh, parts that we've got lying around... And then going through and like selling like the regular XL engine, bunch of heat sinks, like a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to build a, a melee mech in this playthrough, but I know we are in um, in the, the uh, backyard hooligans. We're definitely going to be doing melee mechs in that for sure. Because I want to get real crazy with those guys. So yeah, let me figure, let me think about this. You know, drop some comments in the comment section. I'd be interested to see what you guys' thoughts are on this. The next time we, we play, it will probably be with, with the changes that I, I've made already, but um, it can certainly be changed again. The industrial TSM I want to pull out, uh, which is why I put that endo steel in there, because then I can go ahead and drop in, um, like just, yeah, either regular, yeah, regular ferrofibrous to get a little bit more weight even for more ammo. Uh, we've got a backup system here, which would be nice if we could get like, I mean, I can't put this in, but an AMS Mark II on this guy just to, to defend the vehicles at the back line, right? But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here because I don't think I got the juice to be able to put this together right now. But I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop the comments in the comment section down below about the loadouts and stuff. I really want to know what you think. We definitely want to be moving up to, to four, four and a half, five skull in a short period of time with these guys. Um, because the, the, the pirates that we're facing uh, are definitely hardcore pirates. These guys are like the, the scourge right now of this area. Um, and they've decided to land on this planet for whatever reason. So we're going to have to deal with them right now. 
Um, but yeah, please drop the comments in the comment section down below. And, and I'm just going to end this episode. So until next time, we'll see you later.